flat tire on your mountain bike or while you're out riding your bike, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is take off the rear or the whichever tire is flat. In this case, we've got a rear tire, which is going to be the harder of the two to, to uh, fix. So that's what we decided to show how to fix just to be able to get the hardest one out of the way. It'll be the same for the front, just a little easier to take off. So first we're going to want to shift uh, the bike into its low, into its fastest gear, which is the smallest one down here, closest to the to the frame. Just gonna click the shifter over here, pedal it a little bit down to that lower gear. Sweet. And then we're gonna flip the bike over so we can get to the wheels a little easier. With, shim, uh, with SRAM derailers, they have a built-in lock port, so you can bend this up here, push a little button here, and it'll lock the derailleur in place to keep it out of the way while you're taking the wheel out. And then you're gonna want to go over to the other side with uh, through axle bikes and loosen this here. Loosen it until it comes loose from all the threads and just pull it straight out. Definitely hold on to this, you're gonna need it later. Uh, then you're gonna wanna pull the derailleur out of the way so that it's, there's no chain in between uh, like the U and the, the cassette, which is this these gears here. You just want to pull the wheel straight up and then out this way. And then now that you have the wheel out of the bike, you're going to want to try and break the bead, which is uh, the bit that's attached to the wheel here. So you want to pull this away from the wheel, exposing the rim tape and everything. You'll be able to see the bead, which is right here, and walk that all the way around. If uh, your tire still has a little bit of air in it, you might not be able to do that right away, so you might have to take the rest of the air out to get it out of there. Um, then you're gonna need to take your tire lever, or if you've got super strong fingers, just pull it off that way. Tire lever is usually easier. Get it underneath the first layer of tire there, just under the front one side, pull it under there and lever it over, and you should be able to slide this around to uh, pull the tire off of the side of the, the wheel there. Now you're able to get it out, but you got to make sure that you pull the lock ring off of uh, off of the Presta valve. Schrader valve tires do not have this, and it'll be pretty obvious because it'll be a a larger valve there. So then you can pull this straight out of the tire and then pull the whole tube out. Now it's a good idea to go around and check the inside of the tire for any thorns or anything that might have caused the flat originally. So usually I just take my hand, slide it along the inside of the tire. Feel for anything pokey. Obviously don't hurt yourself, but it's good to be able to, to prevent any future flats. You, if you only got one spare tube, you wanna make sure you get the most out of it. So go all the way around, check, make sure there's nothing in there. If there's little bits of grass or anything, make sure you get those out of there. Then you're gonna to wanna to take either your patch kit or your spare tube. Patch kit, you're gonna to wanna to pump up the tire that or the tube that you pulled out of the wheel, pump it up, find that hole, Get, take the patch kit, rough up the spot where there's the hole with some sandpaper that'll be included in the patch kit, rough it up, and then stick that uh, patch on there and let it sit for a little bit before you inflate it. But in this case, we're gonna use a new tube because that's just gonna be the, the, smart, the best way to go about it, the least likely to go flat on you again. So you take the new tube out of the box, out of the box, hopefully, unroll it, get to the valve, and you're gonna to wanna to put a little bit of air in it to give it some shape, because if you get it all twisted up inside the tire, uh, it might cause a pinch flat, which will lead you back to where you are before. So for using pumps that we have at the gear room, uh, and most hand pumps, you're gonna to wanna to put, the, put the valve into the hole and then lock it using the little lever here. You just wanna pull that up and that'll lock it on there. And then you'll be able to uh, hopefully use the pump. There we go. And you're gonna to wanna to give it a little bit of air Pump that up, give it some shape so that it's going to sit in the tire correctly. So just about there is good to make sure that it's just got a little bit of shape so it's not going to get in your way. Uh -huh. Do you want to take the lock ring off of the new tube as well? And it's always a good idea to reclose the lock nut on the, the Presta valve right there. You just want to make sure that's locked so it doesn't break the internal valve there. So then, you go back around, find the hole in the wheel. There it is there. You're gonna wanna pull this, the tire back out of the way, put the, the valve through the wheel, 
and then pull the tire up and over the tube and then you're going to want to go around and stuff the tube into the tire all the way around and once you have the tube in all the way around usually starting at the valve you pull the wheel the tire over the wheel and then stuff the bead down in there and you usually hear a little pop as the bead catches the wheel you're going to walk that around all the way to the edge making sure that the tube is not getting stuck between the wheel and the bead like this because that's how you'll cause a pinch flat as you inflate it this will expand and it'll blow the tube up and that is not fun very loud and as you walk around you're going to want to as you get closer it usually gets a little harder so as you walk it around it's going to be a little harder to, to get that bead over so it's a good idea to go back to the front sort of bend this closer to the inside of the wheel it'll give you a little more uh a little more play in the outside of the bead and you'll be able to to walk this bead up and over the edge of the tire a little bit easier worst case scenario you might have to get a tire lever out but usually you can get it with your hands you just pull that bead right over the edge and once it's all in you want to go around and check and make sure that the tube is not stuck between the bead and the wheel like i said earlier that's how you end up with an explosion so now that we have that in there we can get the lock ring on there you want to put it on, you don't want to tighten it down all the way, you just want it on there to make sure that nothing's going to move around too much on you. If you tighten it too much, you can rip the valve off the tube, and uh, that's not a fun time. going to use the pump again, open the lock ring on the, the tube there, make sure that it's open and can move, allow air in, and you're going to reattach it there, open the, oh, lock it on there, pump it up really quick. You want to pump the tire up to about how it feels like probably like slightly like not a ripe pear but an almost ripe pear you want it to have a little bit of give but you don't want it to be uh super firm so you can still get some tread this one's obviously not all the way pumped up but we're going to just move on just so that we can show you how to get it back in the bike so you're going to want to lock that lock ring off so it won't let air back out uh tighten the lock ring down as tight as it'll go uh, finger tight, you don't want to use a tool because you might have to get it off later. Then you're going to take it, make sure that you have it oriented the right way so that the, the cassette is on the drive train, drive train side and then you have the, the disc brake on this side lined up with the brake. You're going to want to pull this out of the way again, sort of stuff it in there and then get the chain, uh, the cassette inside the chain loop there. Then guide it down so that the, the uh, disc brake goes into the caliper on this side and then goes into the dropouts on both sides. I'm gonna grab the through axle, stick that back through, tighten it down. Uh, usually it should get, don't wanna tighten it too far, but usually pretty, pretty, uh, pretty tight. And then once you have that, you can pull this forward and it'll release the derailleur and allow you to keep going flip the bike back over, you can finish your ride. Make sure you pack out all your garbage. You wanna make sure you get the spare tube, tube box if you have it, a spare locker ring. You don't wanna leave anything out on the trail, but hopefully it'll keep you going, keep you riding.